Last week, Kenya hosted its first national cassava conference in a move aimed at enhancing productivity of the crop. The trade fair, which brought together over 150 exhibitors, highlighted the importance of cassava in food and nutrition security. Now, to achieve this, a number of cassava innovations and technologies were on display. As our very own Dennis Ochino tells us on this week's Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Saving for your farming goals is now easy with equity. Whether you need to buy a tractor, a piece of land, an irrigation system or any other farming need, simply log on to Equity Mobile app or Equity Online and start saving today. Kusave ni rahisi na equity. In Kenya, cassava represents the second most important root crop after the Irish potato. Despite its potential, cassava is largely viewed as a poor man's crop, providing a basic diet for most rural households in the country. It is this notion that farmers and other sector players are keen to change when the country hosted its inaugural National Cassava Conference in Nairobi. Among the exhibitors that caught the attention of visitors was this stand by the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture showcasing the semi-autotrophic hydroponics technology for cassava multiplication. It's a system where we are able to uh, use single nodes uh, or mini sets of cassava cuttings set up into uh, these small mini boxes. In these boxes we have this cassava growing for about a week or two from the single node cuttings and after about every three or four weeks we are actually cutting them back and putting them into new boxes. So it's an exponential system of multiplication uh, for cassava. The technology, which is relatively new in the country, addresses constraints of slow and low multiplication ratio in cassava seed system. The benefits of the ACH technology are, number one, it's low cost, number two, it's extremely rapid, and number three, we're getting clean seed that is true to type. True to type here, we're talking about the varieties, so we are actually sure that the varieties we are putting out are actually what we are stating they are. A number of community-based organizations from the western part of the country, which accounts for 60% of Kenya's total cassava production, were present to showcase their innovations and other cassava value-added products. Robert Okelo, a cassava farmer from Kisumu, is part of a group that has taken cassava value addition a notch higher. Uh, from cassava, we, ca we are able to get uh, cassava chunks, which are the dried chippings, which we normally ground into flour. Uh, away from that, we have uh, from the cassava flour, we can have uh, cassava bread, we can have cassava cake, we can have crepes, we can have chips. Having moved away from selling cassava in its raw form, Okela's group has greatly improved its earnings. At farm gate, that is, you just harvest, you, you uproot it, one kilo would go at uh, average 15 shillings. But now, one kilo of cassava, when it is now cake, one kilo of cake goes for 1,500 or 1,200. Although, uh, for you to have one kilo of dried cassava, which will give you the, the flour, you'll need the four kilos of uh, raw cassava. The same trend is closely followed by other farmers here who have exploited growth opportunities in the cassava value chain. Uko zamani, tulikuwa, tutalima cassava na tuko kuwa tunajua ya kuwa cassava, unaweza ukatengeneza cake, crepes, karu karu. Izo vitu tulikuwa tunapata tuko kwenye supermarket. Kiloro ya cassava, tunachokuwa kwa wakulema kwa singikumi. E, na tukifanya tu processing, ikiwa dry chips, tunausa kwa 70-65. Other innovators like Jackton are pushing for the adoption of such machines to ease management of the crop after harvest. Machine iliundo hapa Kenya. Tukienda kwa site na mwogo ikikuwa imesafiswa msuri na tunafungua tuna ina katakata mwogo vile inatakikana. Kwa siku kama tuko na watu wetu wengi tunaweza tumia tantano kwa siku, kwa tantatu kwa siku. 
Besides the western part, other agricultural ecological zones supporting cassava production in Kenya are the coast and eastern zones. Organizers of the conference are keen on ensuring adoption of policies that will guide the development and production of cassava for industrial use in particular. The reason why this was important is to bring cassava into the national platform because we are beginning to see a lot of uh, opportunities, both from business perspective, from health perspective, and also from nutrition perspective that are presented by growing cassava in the country as a food security crop. But this conference is, uh, is important to position cassava at uh, a national level platform where it can begin to attract investment um, opportunities coming down to the farmers. Kenya currently produces an estimated 1 million tons of cassava every year, most of which is consumed locally. But the country has the potential to produce more than 3 million tons of the crop if more farmers join the fray. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Open a savings account today to achieve your farming goals, be it purchase of a tractor, piece of land, an irrigation system or any other farming need. Simply log on to Equity Mobile app or Equity Online and start saving today. Kusave ni rahisi na Equity.